Perfect. Yeah, so welcome to Two Split. Today's episode, we are gonna be unboxing the Huawei GT2. This is the successor to the Huawei GT, obviously. Now this launched in October of 2019 and pretty much went under the radar because at that same event, the Mate 30 series launched as well. So I guess didn't this didn't get enough attention. Plus it's not in America, of course. So it's gonna be big in Europe and other Asian countries. So let's see what's inside. Get rid of the bag. Okay, so the Huawei GT2 comes in two main versions, right? There's a 46 millimeter size, which is the larger of the two, and a 42 millimeter. And this one is the classic edition of the 46 millimeter because we picked this one because, of course. I'm a classic man. Okay, too soon, too soon. That's cheesy. But we just like this version better because it's leather and, you know, it could, it could, it looks very casual and classic. Like a simple watch. And that's what they're going for. Presentation is decent. Flip side. The watch greets you. Beautiful looking watch. Let's take that out. Put that to the side. Get back to you in a minute. On the right side. It comes with ooh, extra rubber straps. So this is for when you want to work out and you don't want to mess up the leather band. The silicone straps are nice and rubbery. Non-reactive, hopefully. Um, what's in here? Paperwork in my favorite language, Mandarin. Okay, I'm gonna almost tear this box apart. I think that's it. Oh, no, that's not it. There's stuff in here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Secret compartment. It's like digging for treasure. And in here is, I'm gonna guess, the charger. That's right, charging cable, uh, USB Type C. Thank God. That way you don't have to carry too many cables if you already own a USB Type C device. That can't be it. There's gotta be something else in here. I feel like I'm breaking apart the whole thing. Okay, I'm gonna have to go beast mode on this. Just rip it. Okay, okay, yeah, I found it. There it is. There it is. <sighs> I'm gonna need water. And the puck, the charging puck. So it is uh, it's magnetic and you gotta align these two pins to the back of the watch for this to charge. The watch doesn't charge wirelessly. And that's the USB-C port right there. And that's it. Almost destroyed the box, but I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Let's put everything back. Get to what you really came here to see, which is this guy. So, what caught my attention with this guy is that it looks really, really good. Um, the difference between the, this design and the, and the standard GT design is the bezels are no longer raised, the side bezels. The 3D glass flushes with the sides, so it gives it for a much cleaner look. This is a supposedly a 24-hour marking, but it clearly is not accurate. So I guess it's just design factor. There are two buttons. This button will act most likely as your power button, as well as your menu button. Let's see if there's any power in here. Yep. And this button is your, by default, I think it's set to track activities. Yeah, I believe so. So let's do like a quick setup and see if we can just run through. The leather strap feels a bit original. Uh, I guess it'll wearing as you wear it over time. And the tracker is back here. Uh, Jake, you pass me the phone for a second. Let's see what we got. So to, to connect this, you're gonna have to need the Huawei health app. Interesting. Yeah. So you need to come into the health app. So my phone is in dark mode right now. That's why everything looks so black. It usually has a white background. Go to devices, add, add smartwatch. Huawei GT2 is here already. So I guess they pretty much updated the app. It says updating. Ooh, Honor Magic Dream just popped up. Honor Magic. So I guess now we know what's next. 
So we take the GT2 series axis. Pair, pair. And that's it. It seemed pretty straightforward. So if you own a Huawei device, it'll be much smoother than this because it'll just automatically find the watch, um, the, the AirPods, the Mate 30 series, they pretty much be a faster connection flow, but I mean, this will have to be the generic Android style connection. Uh, there's an update in here. Why not update now? And there is a limited number of watch faces, but so this shows you what's recommended, what's in the store, this shows you what's yours, whatever you've downloaded. And as you can clearly see, isn't much of a difference between what's on the watch and what's in the entire store. Uh, we'll play with this later and let you know how that goes in the full review. Uh, but other than that, it is a really beautiful watch. It's really super light. I'm gonna wait, it's just to find out exactly what it weighs, but it's super light. Uh, heart rate sensors are going crazy right now. Um, and that's really it for the Huawei Watch GT2. It's currently about 180 pounds if you can find it. Black Friday just went by, so I'm sure there'll be deals floating around. Um, we'll leave links in the description below and let us know what you think. Does it look good? Does it not? <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell so in case uh, a new video comes out and keep you updated. We'll catch you in the next one. Take care.